I haven't eaten in like 40 minutes. That's weird for me. <laughs> Americans, we love to eat. More than anything, America loves its fast food. So how often do you eat fast food? Oh, oh every week. Often. Uh, every week. <laughs> and does the food make you feel good? Yes, Oliver Love. Yeah? <laughs> yeah? Yeah, it does. So it's pretty clear. Americans love their fast food, but do they know what goes into it? For starters, when a cow is slaughtered to make the average fast food hamburger, gut contents, feces, and urine are often ground up in the meat. Next, let's go to the average chicken nugget. First, a chicken is strapped into a conveyor belt and sent past a row of blades meant to slit its throat. But, the chicken usually wiggles, so the chicken gets boiled alive. As if inhumanity wasn't bad enough, the chicken nugget making process is also unsanitary. When a chicken is ground up, its beak and its claws usually end up in the nugget also. Next, this delicious chicken nugget, which is actually mainly corn, is fried in oil made of 2% butane. Butane is lighter fluid. Consuming 5% butane is fatal. Unfortunately, these aren't the only nasty things in your fast food. Ever wonder why you have to use the bathroom after eating Burger King? It's because some of their foods use the same chemicals they use to make laxatives. And their so-called veggie burgers aren't even vegan. Don't forget all the chemicals they use as preservatives to keep food fresh for way longer than it should be. As for Wendy's, you may not find any fingers in their chili, as one woman claimed, but you will, however, find sand, which is used as an anti-caking agent. If you have food allergies, don't think you're safe just by ordering things in the menu that don't directly list items you're allergic to. For example, the McDonald's sausage burrito contains milk, eggs, wheat, corn syrup, and lots of preservatives and chemicals. And Ken's Ranch dressing, used in a lot of salads, contains titanium oxide, which is used in sunscreen and paint. As you can see, there's a lot more things to worry about in fast food than just calories. Most people don't know what's inside the food. It's your job to spread the word and help people take a moment to maybe think about what they eat.